Applications of Integration, Acceleration, Velocity and Displacement A body moves in a straight line. After time t seconds, its acceleration, given by a, is 60 plus 1. We're given initial conditions. We know that when t is 0, the velocity is 2 meters per second, and its displacement is 1 meter. We're asked to find expressions for v, velocity, and s, the displacement, in terms of t. And then we're asked to find the velocity after 4 seconds. The knowledge required for this question is we understand the relationship between displacement, velocity, acceleration, and integration and differentiation. When we differentiate displacement with respect to time, ds dt, that's velocity, dv dt, that's acceleration. So the opposite is true when we integrate. If we integrate a with respect to t, well then we will get the velocity. And if we integrate the velocity with respect to t, we will get the displacement. So let's apply that to this question. We want to find velocity first. We know that v is the integral of a dt. a in this question is 6t plus 1. So we're going to integrate 6t plus 1. We raise the power by 1 and divide by the new power. That becomes 6t squared divided by 2, which is 3t squared. 1 becomes t, and then we have the constant of integration. So this neatens off 3t squared plus t plus c. Now we are given initial conditions, so we could evaluate what this c value is. We know that at time zero, the velocity is two meters per second. So if we let the velocity be two meters per second, when we sub in zero into this equation, we see that c must be two meters per second. So that gives v equal to 3t squared plus t plus 2. So that's the first question answered. We have an expression for the velocity in meters per second. The next question is find the displacement. The displacement s is the integral of v dt. So we're going to integrate this quadratic expression that we've just found. Again, to integrate this, we're going to raise the power by 1 and divide by the new power. So the first one will be 3t cubed divided by 3. Then we'll have t squared. The integral of 2 is 2t. And again, we have a constant of integration. But because we're given some initial conditions, we will be able to evaluate this. We know when t is 0, the displacement is 1 meter. So s of 0 is equal to 1, which is equal to, we're going to sub in 0 in for t in the expression that we've just found. When we do this, we see that c must be equal to 1. So now we could write our expression for s displacement as t cubed plus t squared over 2, or a half t squared, plus 2t plus 1. That would be measured in meters. And the final part of the question, we're asked to find the velocity of the body after four seconds. So we'll sub in the value four in for t in a velocity equation that we have in green there. So this becomes three times four squared plus four plus two. 4 squared is 16, and 3 sixteenths are 48, and 48 plus 8 is 54. So our answer is 54 meters per second.